Hey, this is Robert, and today I'm going to show you how to use our Virtual Studio One um, After Effects template. Um, the first thing you're going to do when you um, download your project is unzip the file, so everything will be zipped up into one uh, big file, and you'll want to uh, double click that zip file, and then if you're on a Mac or a PC, um, go ahead and unzip those files somewhere um, so that they're not still contained within the zip file. Um, the next thing that you're going to do is actually open up your uh, Set1 After Effects project um, in uh, After Effects. This project um, can, is compatible back to um, CS3. So um, I'm working in CS3 here, but if you have CS3, 4, 5, uh, CC, um, any of the newer After Effects templates um, up to the present day, um, they'll all work with this uh, After Effects template. So once you've unzipped your files, um, then just navigate to the folder where your files are, uh, find the set1.aep, double click it and open it up inside of After Effects, like so. Um, okay, so you basically have uh, three main scenes um, in your template. Um, so we've got angle one, angle two, and angle three final. And so these are all the uh, render um, um, ready uh, compositions here in this main area right there and uh, and so what you can see on the timeline here is for angle one um, we have uh, all these files here for the for the template itself and then on the timeline we have up to about 30 minutes of, uh, of space for your for your project so first thing um, all of the compositions um, are uh, labeled here um, so they're pretty easy to turn on and off. Um, so you can change um, uh, what you see on the main composition and uh, what kind of monitor you'd like in the in the um, animation, final animation as well. Um, this lower third, I'll start here. Um, the lower thirds, we have two different lower thirds that you can use. We've got lower third 02 and lower third 01. And they're both uh, very easy to update with uh, your own text and uh, logo and that kind of thing. And so let me show you how to do that first. So uh, right now we have uh, lower third 02 uh, turned on. So this little eyeball is on for lower third 02. And so if we want to uh, change maybe the text um, and that kind of thing down here, maybe turn off or on some of the text um, in the rest of the lower third, then we'll just come to this edit lower third folder and then click uh, you know edit for whatever you're trying to edit. So if you're wanting to edit the text, You'll double click the um, edit lower third to text composition. And then you can just come in here and change it to uh, whatever it is that you'd like. So you can change the text there. And change the text like that. And, uh, and then you can also turn off and on layers as well. If you don't want to have uh, temp and time, that kind of thing, you can change that to whatever you'd like. And then if we go back to our uh, composition, you'll see that the um, text has changed on this lower third. And since we changed it in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the composition itself, then if we play through, you'll see that it changes the text and the animation stays intact and that kind of thing. like so like that um, the there. and uh, if you want to change the uh, the logo so we have the right now we have this little uh, revolving uh, world right there if you want to change that then you would just go to this edit lower third logo and then you could change that to uh, any kind of animation or if you have a logo for your channel or something like that then you could just change that right there so pretty easy to do um, so we also have uh, lower third 01 and same difference um, if you want to change the uh, text and that kind of thing then you just go into the edit lower third 01 folder and then go to uh, edit text lower third 01 um, and the edit globe and logo which is like this little area thing right there um, all right and so we can turn on and off the uh, the lower thirds. You can turn turn it all off. Um, the next thing to do would be to uh, add in your talent footage. And actually, before I even get to that, um, one thing you might want to think about doing uh, before you uh, start working in this project 
is just to go ahead and save a, uh, a different version of this project. So you've got the, uh, the template um, set up. So if we go to File, Save As, then we can save this as uh, a new project. And then that way you can always come back to the original template if you need to, to uh, um, you know, make some updates or changes or use it for a different production or something like that. Um, the, the talent footage, um, which we have right now, we just got a little placeholder um, graphic. Um, you'll just go into, uh, there's a composition called Edit Talent Footage, and that is in the Edit Footage and Monitors folder. And you'll see a composition called Edit Talent Footage. And so you double click that, and this is where you will just um, uh, replace this graphic with uh, your uh, talent shot. So let me do that real quick so that you can see that being done. Grab a little piece of stock footage that we have of somebody on a green screen. And so I will drag and drop this down to the timeline. And you'll see she shows up there. Um, to uh, In After Effects, to do a uh, color key, you go to Effect, Keying, Key Light uh, is, a, uh, is a keyer that I like to use called Key Light. Should be included in your After Effects installation. And then when you get key light up, you use this little eyedropper tool to select the uh, green in your chroma key background. And you'll see that it just basically takes out the green in the background and shows through to the background. Um, and so we are going to turn off this uh, template there, the um, uh, placeholder guy there. And so you can either delete that uh, layer or just turn it off uh, and hide it like that. And so you'll see now we've got uh, our talent right there. And um, once you have your talent set up, you can move them around in the scene um, just by uh, clicking and dragging or using your arrow keys to uh, move them around you know, as you need and that kind of thing. So the next thing is that we have uh, multiple monitors here. So we have uh, these two background monitors that show up. I'll move this little thing so you can see we've got two monitors in the background here. And then we also have um, some animated content that comes down on these screens. Um, the, uh, the, the template itself is set up with multiple um, animated monitors, so you can kind of turn off and on uh, different monitors. Um, you know, one of them comes down on the left, one's kind of more centered, uh, one comes down on the right, and so you can just turn off and on layers um, until you get the, uh, the animation that you're looking for. We also have some sideways monitors that you can use, um, which are really great for um, um, more lists and that kind of thing. Um, you know, if you're trying to get a lot of content on the screen, then you can then you can do that there. Um, once you picked out the monitor that you want to use in your scene um, to change the content that shows up in that monitor, you can just go to this Edit Footage Monitors folder and then go to the uh, Animated Monitor Content. Um, you can actually see on the uh, on the monitor itself, it kind of tells you or gives you a hint at least as to what. Uh, composition you need to look for to uh, change it. And so this one is the animated monitor content, which is uh, in the edit footage monitors folder, and there's an animated monitor content composition. So if I double click that, then we get um, this placeholder information. And uh, and so let me just grab some, um, some footage that we can use. And I'll drag my footage into After Effects, and then I'm gonna uh, put some footage in this monitor comp, like that. And then if I come back to our main uh, final render composition, then you'll see that it shows right into the uh, into the monitor area right there. Um, the uh, the two monitors in the background right there um, are the same thing. Um, they are footage monitor 01 and footage monitor 02. And so if you come up to uh, the Edit Footage Monitors folder, um, there's Footage Monitor 01 and 02 right there. And so the same thing, if you want to uh, add content into these two monitors, um, then you just double click that composition, drag your uh, footage into those monitors. Like that. And then they'll show up. And uh, the background monitors, you know, they could be could be footage. It could be just uh, you know a revolving logo, maybe for your brand or for your show, um, or it could be some sort of other uh, B-roll footage that might show up um, that might look good back there, or even just like a motion graphic. Um, 
that you could have. Um, if you, uh, if for some reason you don't even want to have the monitors back there, then you can come down um, in this uh, in the layers and turn off the um, uh, the monitors. So you've got this footage monitor O2. Uh, you just turn that off and then turn off the TV uh, thing there, and that'll turn off the that'll turn off the monitors from the scene as well. Um, and we also have these uh, sideways monitors. And so you can easily change that content there as well. Um, you can see that it says sideways monitor content. And uh, we have animated content sideways monitor content right there. And that's the composition that you'll want to uh, overwrite and uh, put your content or your uh, graphics or animations and that kind of thing um, right, over top of, uh, right over top of that. And so you can either scale some footage up to fit that, um, that weird size or uh, uh, you can rotate something, or you can just build a graphic or an animation um, that fits to this uh, aspect ratio, like that. And so it shows in right there. And so once you've added in your content to your monitors, uh, your talent footage on the screen, then uh, you're pretty much ready to go to, uh, to render out your final project. Um, you have the other uh, three final compositions. And we tried to make this template so when you would add uh, content into these animated monitors in the background monitors and uh, the talent footage area, that it would update these other angles as well so that you don't have to um, uh, do it multiple times or change out content multiple times and that kind of thing. So if you scroll through the different uh, angles and, um, and that kind of thing, you'll see that the, uh, the animated content, uh, animated monitor content, the background monitor content, uh, the talent footage layer, um, those are all tied back to the same layers. So even though you're going to uh, different angles, um, you can still um, uh, use the same content. And so you basically can make it uh, changed for one and then use it in multiple places and uh, render out your final composition. Another thing is that the template itself is all layered. Everything's done uh, within uh, After Effects, so everything can be turned on and off depending on uh, on what you know what you want in the scene. Um, you can uh, turn on and off, you know, lights and um, background uh, areas and that kind of thing. Um, you can even go in and change, you know, adjust colors and uh, and that kind of thing in the composition itself. Um, you know, which gives you a little bit more um, uh, control over the scene and that kind of thing. So you could really could go in here and change the, um, uh, you know, adjust the background colors of the uh, of this background area, that kind of thing, um, really just as much as you want. So you know, just apply uh, different color corrections to the layers themselves, and then you can adjust uh, them to fit more uh, within your production and that kind of thing. So once you're ready to uh, to render out your final uh, production. Um, then you just go to uh, either of these three angles, uh, angle one, angle two, angle three, whichever one you're wanting to render out. Um, depending on the length of your uh, animation, you may want to uh, extend this um, uh, work area slider. Um, so if you have a, a 10 minute long uh, production, then you'll want to extend it out to about 10 minutes long right there. Um, that way it'll render out all that time. Um, and then when you're ready to go, you just go to Composition, Make Movie. And then in the render queue here, you just click the lossless uh, button right there and then change the format of your video, you know, whatever format you're wanting to uh, render out to, QuickTime or whatever it is, um, and uh, audio output settings and that kind of thing. Click OK and then hit Render and that'll render out your, uh, your animation for you. And that's about it. It's uh, it's a pretty easy template to uh, to get into and uh, to play around with, um, but at the same time, um, it gives you a lot of control over what the final animation looks like, um, how the uh, the scene is set up. You have a lot of uh, things that you can turn off and on, uh, change colors and that kind of thing. Um, so thanks for taking a look, and uh, just email us if you have any questions.